What's up everyone? My name is Uncle Jay. Thanks for checking out the Per DM Poker Hand vlog. This is episode 4. And today's hand, we have a $20 freeze out with $3,000 guaranteed. We are 100 big blinds deep and blinds are at 5100. We pick up ace jack offsuit in the big blind position. Under the gun raises to 300 and three players make the call. We decide to make the call here as well. I think that 3-betting is an option if I think that under the gun is raising with a wide range of hands, but calling is much more standard. Flop is a 6 3 with two clubs. We do have the ace of clubs in our hand, and my strategy here is to just check call. If a club comes on the turn, we have the ace high as a redraw, so it wouldn't be a completely awful situation. But to my surprise, everyone decides to check the flop. The turn is an offsuit 9, and this card doesn't change much from the flop, so there's no need to be really betting super large here. We bet 595 into 1550, and the initial raiser makes the call. The cutoff ends up shoving all in for 4000. And this, I'm not sure what to do here. Ace King would have 3 bet pre flop, Ace Queen maybe 3 bets pre flop. Shoving all in into two players should have a strong range, and I'm not really sure how often my opponent is bluffing here. 8-7 suited, 5-4 suited, King-9 suited. It's hard to find many bluffs in this scenario. We did end up reshoving in-game. Uh, my initial thought was that the, razor, the initial Razor's range was pretty weak, and I wanted to isolate the all-in. So the initial, the initial razor did fold, and the villain shows ace three offsuit for flop two pair, and we don't get there on the river. But I think that my opponent should be betting this on the flop after the initial razor checks, because it is easy for a hand like ace three to get counterfeited by a higher two pair. But hey, you got me to call his all in, so it can't be that bad, right? Let me know your thoughts. Should I have called his all in there? Uh, I'm not really sure, but thanks for checking in.